why have I been MIA for my channel? Let's talk. Guys, the simple plain term is I am quite demotivated. Like, YouTube has demotivated me, literally. That's exactly what happened. So for a while now, I haven't been posting as often as I would usually post because when I, like, there's been a period on my channel where I've been posting a lot because the key to getting a lot of subscribers and the key to getting attention on YouTube is for you to be frequent. So I do understand that. If you are a YouTuber, you would know that um, YouTube set a new, um, what's it called? I think it's a monetization, a new threshold in order for you to be monetized on YouTube. So this was something that I didn't know before I started my YouTube channel. But then when I started and I saw that, I thought, wow, this is a big challenge. But because I've got a passion for this, I can work towards it. So my goal for my channel was to get to a thousand subscribers and was to get the 4,000 watch hours. I set out to achieve that goal and I achieved it. I was really excited because I achieved it ahead of time. So basically I was thinking that maybe I'll be able to get to the 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours in like, a, let's say December this year, but I achieved it so earlier on in the year. And I was so excited and I was proud of myself and I was looking forward to what YouTube had like promised because obviously they said in order for you to be monetized as a new YouTuber or as a growing YouTuber you have to have 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours on your channel and that is not something that is easy to get you know like literally I feel that in order for you to achieve that one of your videos at least must go viral or you or it could take a really really long time to achieve that or you would need to have like three or four videos that went up to like let's say 10k or more in order for you to achieve that and luckily for me two of my videos have done really well and as a result of that i was able to like meet the youtube threshold so this is me expecting youtube to get back to me when i first got my thousand subscribers they sent me a really nice and cute email telling me how oh my god congratulations viola um you've done really well you've now got a thousand subscribers and they were like oh it can only go up from here oh if i've been able to achieve a thousand subscribers then i'll probably be able to achieve um, 10,000 subscribers and 100,000 subscribers and so on and so forth and that was quite nice you know I really loved the email it was really like motivational so yeah I was looking forward to the 4,000 watch hours and then when I finally achieved the 4,000 watch hours YouTube like the setting on my um, creator studio page changed which means that they did acknowledge that I have a thousand subscribers now and I have the 4,000 watch hours. So it's like I'm now eligible for my channel to be monetized. And if you don't know what monetization is, is in order to make a few pennies from your videos, basically. Someone like me who is like getting sometimes a hundred views to a thousand sometimes. And if a video is nice and it goes viral, maybe 10K or more or something like that. Um, yeah, for someone like me, if I don't get videos that go viral, I'll probably be making like chicken change really. So um, it's not that I'm going to be making a lot of money for me, but it's something that I worked hard for and I was looking forward to YouTube keeping their own side of the bargain because at the end of the day, we as creators or we as new YouTubers have like kept our side of the bargain by working hard to make sure that we get to that 1,000 subscribers and the 4,000 watch hours. So for me... I was like eager and waiting for YouTube to get back to me, especially as the setting on my um, creator studio page had changed. What they said was that they were going to get back to us by the end of April and I had literally just passed the threshold I think two weeks to the end of April so I was excited that you know what, 
these people are going to send me an email saying oh viola your channel is now monetized and so on and so forth by the end of april this is me patiently waiting i think a lot of people were complaining because a lot of people reached their threshold as well and they were waiting to hear from youtube but youtube never got back to them as well so there was a lot of people in my situation so as a result of that youtube later got back to us and was like oh they've now moved it back to june because there was a lot of like bad stuff happening on youtube and they want to try and eliminate all the bad actors and they want to try and do whatever so i was like okay let's wait and then um yeah so far i've been waiting for it's been a month now so yeah i haven't been posting as much and i know that it's because obviously i have my birthday so i was really busy planning that and also um like after the birthday i've had to like work a lot so yeah i did not have time as a result of that but i feel yeah, that because youtube didn't keep to their part of the agreement and they keep like delaying monetizing youtubers that have reached the threshold that kind of i don't want to use the word demotivating because it's really hard for someone to demotivate me but it was a bit disappointing because i'm someone who appreciates people that say something and actually do it in the time that they said they were going to do it and for a company like YouTube, I was thinking, hold on, this is a big company. What do they need that, like, what is causing the delay? And the last thing I read about this whole thing, it was, they were like, oh, they're employing more people to work more on it. And then what really annoyed me was when they said they were going to prioritize the channels. So even though you've reached the threshold, they would um, prioritize the people that have got more views on their channel. Say, for example, yeah. I have my YouTube channel and there's another person that has their YouTube channel and we've both reached the threshold but that person is doing better than I am they're gonna look at the numbers basically so um, they're gonna monetize that person's channel first before mine and we all know that bro there's a lot of channels that are doing so well so that 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 kind of made me think that is really unfair because at the end of the day it's like if you said People need to get to the threshold in order for you to monetize their videos. Why are you now saying you're going to do it according to the numbers? Like, some of us struggle to get these numbers and some people get it easily. Like, there's some people that just went and blow up on YouTube. Why are you comparing those people to us? Because at the end of the day, we are working as hard as them. Or maybe, I don't know who is working harder, but for us to even be able to reach that threshold, we must have been working. So, why would you now make us feel bad or why would you now make the fact that our progress is slower a bit of a punishment? Because although my channel got to the threshold before yours, you're going to be monetized before me just because you got a lot more views than I have on my channel. So yeah, that is what I'm still facing right now, guys. I still haven't got any email. I've actually stopped waiting. Like, there was a time when I was waiting, but I'm... <laughs> I've kind of lost hope really so that is really unfair of YouTube and um, I just wanted to explain to you guys my subscribers that um, yeah that's the one of the reasons why I've been a bit MIA and I've just been like focusing on like getting my work done but at the end of the day I'm still here posting videos they still haven't gotten back to me but I'm not gonna sit here waiting for them I'm gonna keep posting videos I'm going to keep doing what I love and if they ever get back to me fine and at the end of the day, I just said to myself, even if I get monetized, I'm not going to be making that much money anyways. I would rather just rely on my day job to get money. But apart from that, I'm not going to be waiting on YouTube anymore because that is a story for the gods. Okay. And yeah, guys, um, thank you so much for all of you who are still subscribed to my channel. And I appreciate all of you for keeping and staying tuned to this channel and for yeah for loving me and for subscribing and for liking the videos and yeah i appreciate you all and uh yeah thank you continue to watch this space continue to watch my channel continue to like my videos continue to leave your suggestions and yeah thank you guys so much and i hope that you guys have a lovely day and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys